It's Wednesday. It is January the 15th. And the reason why I'm emphasizing that it's January the 15th is because Tom Reynolds has not taken down his Christmas tree yet. I know. <laughs> it's hard to believe for a man who really doesn't love winter for him to kind of prolong that season. I don't know. It's kind of surprising to me. So I posted the question on my Facebook page. Tom's Traffic still has his Christmas tree up. Do you? And Jamie said, yeah, took it down last night. Hadn't watered it in a long time. Turns into a fire hazard. Susan said, no, but as usual, it came down rather late, January 12th. Uh, BJ said, mine came down last Sunday. It took half the day to put the house back to normal mode. Same with me. And Nate said, we took it down last night. The cat was confused. He also lost his hiding spot. I take my Christmas tree down like the second Christmas is over. I'm done with it. It's gone. Out. Uh, Chris Murphy, I loved what he said on Twitter. He said, attaboy, Tom. I say it stays put till Valentine's Day. I think I'd actually, um, I don't even know. I, I would bet, Tom, that his wife would say not a chance before it got to that point. All right, well, it is Wednesday. It's time now for your Weather IQ, and today it's all about hurricanes. <laughs> all right, I'm going to turn things over to Tom's Traffic, who still has his Christmas tree up right now. Here's Tom. Wildfires are now common any time of the year in Southern California, but it was the San Francisco area that was threatened by this wildfire yesterday. No. Nope. A winter wallop shut down a good portion of Wisconsin on Tuesday. It was absolutely necessary. Seeing all that snow makes you long for summer, doesn't it? Well, Kevin's joining us at the International Boat Show in Toronto today. And Kevin, I understand you were having a pretty good time. First, you were shopping for yachts, and now you're all about water sports. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It is Wednesday. It is January the 15th. We've been talking about our fluctuating temperatures. It's so hot in Australia, Tom. It's so hot in Australia that the tennis shoes on the folks playing tennis are melting. The Australian Open. The Australian Open is on. People are uh, 100 degrees, 108 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just stifling heat. Things are just falling apart. People are collapsing all over the place. We're jealous. Take a look at this picture. Oh, it's 40 there today, by the 40. way. 40. 43. 43. 43, yeah. Hot. Yeah, I know. Crystal sent in this gorgeous shot of cold. Cold? <laughs> beautiful cityscape of Toronto. Hot. If you want to send your stuff, upload.theweathernetwork.com. Let's check in with Kevin. He is back on the water at the Toronto International Boat Show. Kevin, you are having such a good time. It's a wonder that we actually pay you to do this job. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Kevin, next hit. I would like to actually see you do that. Okay, so we've got snow on the ground, so don't worry if you're thinking summer. It's not summer yet. I still want to ski and board. Well, you can. Anywhere around cottage country, 30 plus centimeters of snowpack and up towards the north, we're looking at 30 plus as well. Kevin's going to be in Sault Ste. Marie on Friday, so make sure you tune in for that. Here's Tom now with traffic. Wildfires are now common any time of the year in Southern California, but it was the San Francisco area as well. A winter wallop shut down a good portion of Wisconsin on Tuesday. If recent mild weather has you wondering about the future of your favorite winter. Right now, I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds. He's an update on your morning commute. Thanks for joining us here this morning on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It is the 15th of January. And before we take a look at your conditions, we are going to thank Crystal for sending in this beautiful shot. Toronto City, beautiful from the air. And you can see the ice on the lake. Of course, Lake Ontario, not frozen, but just by the shoreline. Looks cold, doesn't it? Blur. Well, temperatures were mild yesterday, but this whole freeze-thaw cycle that we've been dealing with, this winter mission, if you will, has been causing huge problems for motorists when it comes to potholes. Yeah, it just the asphalt just can't handle it. And you can see large holes are a result. Now, I know crews have been out trying to fix these. The wind was calm, not a lot of active weather. It was good. Snow on the ground, so if you've got more winter activity planned for this weekend, we're looking at 30 plus centimeters of snowpack up through cottage country. Areas further north is where we're seeing more significant snow. Sault Ste. Marie is where Kevin is heading this Friday. Not to be missed, he's going to be participating in all sorts of winter fun. Winter comfort tips. Now we're looking at minus two as a daytime high tomorrow, dropping to zero for, rising to zero rather, on Friday, but we do have some snow on the way. We're 
We're going to get in that warm sector of the Clipper Thursday overnight and into Friday. That's where we're seeing our temperature go up. And then Saturday, we're looking at minus four, Sunday minus three. Saturday and Sunday are going to be cold, however. We're going to see wind chill values back into the double, minus double digits. So minus 11 for Saturday, minus 12 for Sunday. The boat show is happening all weekend long. We've been checking in with Kevin all morning. He's been down there having a great time. So if you want to get a little summer into your winter, that's a good way to do it. In Hamilton, we are going to see light snow Thursday overnight and into Friday, again with that clipper moving through and much cooler temperatures over the weekend. This flurries. Say goodbye to those mild temperatures. We are going to be returning to more seasonal values throughout the GTA. Thanks for joining us this Wednesday morning. It is January the 15th. I'm Emily Vukovic. Are you getting tired of winter yet? Have you thought, okay, that's enough. I'm done. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for summer. Well, we still have about 63 days until spring, so that's out. But maybe if you are in the summer kind of mood, you want to head to the International Boat Show that's happening this weekend, this week and this weekend. Kevin Yard's been there all morning long. First, he was looking at these beautiful 50 to 100 foot yachts and now he's been participating in some water sports. And Kevin, you've been here for a while, so I'm thinking this is going to be your favorite spot of the boat show, isn't it? <laughs> that looks awesome. A lot of fun. Thanks, Kevin. All right, well, temperatures today, as Kevin was mentioning, are going to be uh, cooler than they have been. Minus two for tomorrow. And then for Friday, we're looking at a daytime high of zero. We do have another clipper moving its way through Thursday overnight and into Friday, giving us trace amounts, light snow through the region. By Saturday, we're looking at four degrees. And by Sunday, minus three, another clipper moving into Southern Ontario. So it's going to be kind of a gray and cool week. Temperatures by the weekend, I was talking about the single digits. Well, it's going to feel like the minus double digits when you factor in the wind. So in Hamilton on Saturday, it's going to feel closer to minus 12. And by Sunday, feeling closer to minus 11.